hang by a thread that grows more precarious with every moment in your presence. I want my sister to be happy. Can you make her happy? True love is worth it. My name is Jane Nam with Next Shark Media. Um, so, so excited for our conversation. I'm going to start with the heavier question first, if that's okay. Um, Bridgerton is such an ethnically diverse cast and so interesting since the show obviously takes place during the Regency period. Um, as you know, the sight of an Asian actor in a Regency drama should feel unfamiliar, but Bridgerton is so believable and it feels so real. How did it feel being in a Regency drama as an actor of color? I'm sure you didn't grow up reading textbooks with pictures of women in ball, uh, ball gowns that look like you. I definitely didn't. Um, so how was that experience for you? Um, it was amazing. I mean, um, as an actress, I was just super excited to sink my teeth into such amazing material. Um, I think Chris Van Dusen, our amazing showrunner, has really created the most magical love story between Kate and Anthony, and also the sisterly love story between Kate and Edwina. Um, so I was just really grateful and excited to be telling that story. Um, but yeah, um, I, I learned so much more of my own heritage um, and sharing that space with Charithra was such an honor. And um, it was just a lot of joy and I felt really proud and, even more proud um, to receive such a warm reception, especially from South Asian women. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, more specifically, your character's Indian background was incorporated into the show. And Kate frequently mentions how much she misses home. And even fashion-wise, there are hints of her um, Indian background. Did the fact that your character was from India, which was not a part of the books, um, change how you approached your character? Um, I think that there's something deeper than race that connects all of us together. Um, and that is relating to one another within what is the human experience and what we feel. Um, so as an actress, I approached it um, trying to find the heart within the character and looking mm -hmm. beyond her heritage and the color of her skin, but also um, not being naive to that and um, deflecting off that. I think there are so many moments within the show where it is celebrated in the most joyful, warm way. For example, the Haldi scene or when Kate is applying coconut oil to Edwina's hair. Um, for mm -hmm. me, um, it was about creating a um, fierce, brave, complex um, character with so many different layers and a sense of vulnerability, especially from the loss that she's experienced. Um, I wanted it to be a character that anyone could relate to um, and not just for the color of her skin. Um, you grew up in London. Were um, some of those customs new to you or were you kind of familiar with a lot of those? It was the first time I, um, I mean, on, on camera had performed mm -hmm. the Haldi ceremony. Um, and I think it's one of the, probably the first time we've ever seen it um, on a television show like Bridgerton. So I think that was just amazing. Um, we had so much fun. Um, bringing that scene to life with our amazing director Tom Verica um, and with Charitha and Shelley Conn who plays Lady Mary. Um, but um, I, I definitely um, related to the scene and I think a lot of um, women and sisters and mothers and daughters can from a variety of heritages her and cultures can relate to the scene where Kate's putting coconut oil on Edwina's hair. Um, yeah, I, that brought fond memories of when my mum used to do that for myself or even when I do it on myself, putting on like a coconut oil mask before I go to bed. But I think uh -huh. we were highlighting like that intimate sisterly um, bonding moment. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much for your time, Simone. We love you. Um, and the word is that you're returning for season three of Bridgerton. So excited for that and wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thanks. It was nice talking to you. Thank you.